Rachel, do me a favor. Can you just put that on pause for a sec? Because I need to make a copy. No, Lewis, I can't. I'm busy doing my job. Excuse me? What, are you going to fire me like you fired Harold? Because honestly, I, I, I don't give a sh**. I get it. <laughs> Rachel, listen. I know about the Harvard thing. And I think it's great. What? Yeah, Norma told me. Rachel, I know the waiting is hard, but you're not going to be here for much longer. I got 100% faith in you. I didn't get it. What? I don't understand. I had everything. My grades, the LSATs, I'm a legacy, and I don't even puff myself up, but I killed it at that interview. That doesn't make any sense. And do you remember that woman who came from Harvard? She didn't like anyone, but I swear she loved me. Sheila. Yeah. Sheila, Sheila Sass, you remember. Yeah, I remember. Is there something wrong? Yep, there is something wrong. I believe you were wronged. I believe you suffered the slings and arrows of outrageous wrongness. And I will not have it. What does that mean? That means that I'm going to rectify the situation because you miss saying you're going to Harvard. Look, Sheila, I'm flattered by what you did. But this is not fair, and you know it can't stand. Lewis, pull the resume from the stack. Anyone, read it. Sure. Magna cum laude, Yale, 3.9 GPA. Another one. Summa cum laude, Georgetown, 4.3 GPA. Listen, I get it. I know what you're trying That's to- That's my reject pile. I am a professional. I would never let my feelings for you sway me against a candidate. OK, but you have to let them sway you for a candidate. You can't ask me that. Rachel Zane is the best paralegal in the best law firm in New York. She is relied upon by the best lawyers who have graduated from the best university. The woman is crimson. So who do I knock out? I promised her. Lewis, I liked her. I did. You're just going to have to tell her the truth. Sometimes good isn't good enough. What is it, Lewis? Got a hard truth to tell you. I'm not going to Harvard. No, you're not. I get it. Not good enough. I never have been. That is not the hard truth. You're an amazing candidate, and you need to know this in your heart. The truth is, you did not get in. Because I let you down. What are you talking about? Sheila and I had a relationship. I heard her. And... Uh, and she took it out on me? I'm gonna write you a recommendation for anywhere. Any law school. It just... Won't be Harvard. I'm really sorry. drink last night. They were free. I know. You left. I did. It was a nice party. It was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. OK. So I see you're still not going to tell me why I you... didn't get into Harvard. Don't look at me that way. With sympathy? With pity. I wasn't. Rachel, listen to me. There are other schools. Don't. Yeah, I won't. 
It wasn't that I wasn't good enough. I know that. It was Lewis. What? The interviewer. Uh, apparently, she and Lewis had a history, and... But she didn't let you in because of him? That's... I know. Not right. I know. <sighs> Tell me about the day you found out. Rachel, come on. No. I need to hear how it felt from someone who got in, because I'll... I'll never hear that from myself. You're looking at me like that again. I'm not. Then what? It's... It's just not right. Yeah. Whatever it is, I'm not in the mood. I know about Rachel and Sheila and Harvard. How? Rachel told me. She wants me to send this letter going over Sheila's head, but it can't come from me. Yeah, it can't come from anyone. She didn't get in because they didn't think she was good enough. You lied to her. No, I never lied to her. I told her she was good enough, which she is. But I let her down because I couldn't persuade Sheila, which is the truth. Lewis, you have to tell her the real truth. Like, I saw the look on her face and I took it away. I do not want to put it back. She is going to pursue this. She's going to find out one way or the other. I'm not going to let her find out from Harvard. I can't tell her. You'll regret it. Look, I'll give you another day to think about it, but after that, I have to tell it myself. Rachel, look, I'm sorry, but I am not... When did you send that letter? Um, I was, uh... I'll tell you when. Never. Okay, look, let me explain. When I went to see Lewis, he told me what really happened. I know. He told me to. And I get it. I'm not good enough. What I don't get, Mike, is why you didn't have the courage to just come and tell me that yourself. Look, he lied to you. I thought he deserved the chance to tell you himself, all right? When I went to his office to get him to sign the letter, it... When... You went to him to sign the letter? You told me you were gonna sign the letter. No. So, no, so you lied to me. No, I didn't. I told you that I would help you. That is such bullshit. That's not what you meant, and you know it. You've been cagey with me since the second I came to you about the letter, and you're being cagey with me right now. You are. You're lying to not me. Not today, Rachel. Then please what stop. day, Mike? Jeez. Because it's always something. It is always some secret or some story or some lie. It's all. I don't understand. I don't understand what. You don't understand what I have been through. You don't understand what I have lost. Because it's everything. Everyone that I love. Trevor, my grandmother, Harvey, now probably this job. I am not ready to lose you. Not today. Then tell me. I never went to Harvard. What? I'm a fraud. 